My name is Diakola Akamu from Nigeria. I'm a PhD candidate and a graduate research assistant at University of Tara Malaysia. Studying in Malaysia has been one of my best decisions in life. The university is so organized in such a way that international students are given platforms to participate in all sorts of academically or socially inclined programs. Both indoor and outdoor sport facilities are well equipped. The earth delivery system is also standardized. The supervisors are friendly and ready to offer help. The local language is also sweet and can be easily learned. I can honestly say Malaysia is my second home. I'm glad that Malaysia has created an environment that is conducive to making dreams come true for all international students. I'm Jen from South Korea. I've studied in Malaysia for a month from this January to February. At the very first time, I really didn't expect to study in Malaysia at all. But eventually, I got a lot of precious moments and had good friends here. For this time, I'd experienced lots of religions like Sikhism, Hinduism wearing each of the religious costumes, and had tasty Malaysian food like nasi lemak, I am Kunid and Tatarik as well. It was a pretty short period of time, but I could learn how to harmonize in diversities. I could get a lot of good impacts to choose my future path. I hope you come to Malaysia and have wonderful experiences like I did.
Hi everyone, welcome again to our latest session of EMGS course talk series. My name is Moin Ahmed, I'm from EMGS. In the next few minutes, you will be uncovering a special program today. I think during this COVID-19, these are our frontliners and this is the high demand program. So today we have special guests from University of Cyberjaya, UOC Major General Prof. Dato Muhammad Zain Baidin. Dean of Medicines. With him, we will talk about the MBBS program. Prof, welcome to the program. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, before we start this session, if you have any question, just drop your comments and our dedicated team will get back to you about study in Malaysia and as well as UOC MBBS program. Please do not forget to like and click our Facebook button. <clears throat> uh, let's talk to about your program because this is very special program and especially during this time when, I mean, you know that this COVID is around the world. And then I think the viewer and your department, your student are the frontliners. So can you tell us about UOC, this MBBS program, what's make this program so spe special from others? Okay, thank you for calling me for this uh, interview. The University of Cyberjaya is a five-star university. Okay, our MBBS program is more than 10 years old. We have produced more than 1,000 graduates. Our program is accredited not only by the Malaysian Medical Council, but also by medical councils of uh, big uh, countries like the Indian Medical Council, Bangladesh Medical Councils, uh, Jordan Medical Council, also smaller countries like uh, Brunei Medical Council and Maldives Medical Councils. Our international students who graduate from our universities, uh, they can even sit for the USMLE examination and can migrate to America to do their specializations. Uh, over the years, uh, we have even produced uh, specialists among our graduates. Our curriculum is uh, following the system of the UK and US uh, medical program. There is, uh, it is integrated and spiral in nature. So by having an integrated and spiral curriculum, it provides an impactful training in clinical practice. Our students have hands-on clinical practice uh, even from the first year of their medical studies. The teaching program is uh, incorporating student-based activities and also problem-based approach. So this will help to facilitate the applications of knowledge in the clinical environment early in their student days. Another special uh, thing about our MBA-based program is we are the only university in this region, or maybe in the world maybe, that incorporate disaster and military medicine. We teach students how to handle disasters, mass casualties. We even teach them uh, basics, aerospace medicine, submarine medicine, underwater medicines, battlefield medicines, and these are incorporated into the curriculum. So in short, our program prepares uh, doctors to work not only in the hospitals, but also in the fields, in disaster areas, in austere environments, and in environments that they have never thought that can happen. Uh, thank you very much for giving us actually this one. Actually, it's very good that in 10 years you have. Uh, 1,000 students who are graduate and working and then it's recognized in many countries and approved because I think one of your uh, answer was that your program not only, I mean, your graduate not only can work in uh, civil, I mean, hospitals, but they can also join the militaries because if you, I didn't hear wrongly, you mentioned that your program have some um, specialization about medicine, which is belong to naval 
um, military and all these things. This is very good. Then, Prof, I would like to ask you the second question. Uh, what's your um, employability rate for graduates from uh, University of Cyber Jaya? Uh, up till this time, almost, uh, it's not almost. Until this time, 100% of our graduates have been employed, whether local or foreigners. All right. So, so it's, uh, it's 100%. Yes, yeah, so that's actually a very good achievement for such a young university. And especially as Prof says, during this time, I think there's no doctor which is unemployed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Prof, because this program is uh, quite lengthy, it's a five years program, then have, um, I mean, they have to do the housemanship and whatsoever. Uh, what is the percentage of graduation on, graduates on time for students? You know, in MBBS program, we only take uh, very good students with uh, a few distinctions in the O level, A levels, uh, with CGPA uh, at least uh, 3.0 and above. And our uh, GOT is above uh, 95%. Oh, 95 percent. Yeah. Uh, prof, everything in your UOC, such as like 100 percent and 95 to 97 percent, which is actually is very interesting, for, especially for students and parents. And Prof, actually earlier you mentioned that your, uh, your degree is recognized many countries. Uh, I have this, my one last question is related to your uh, earlier what you mentioned. How success, successful are your alumni? And if it's they are from only from Malaysia, they are from other part of the world and where they are working now, Malaysia and overseas, if you have some uh, some names or you would like to mention which countries they are now. We have a big pool of uh, alumni. They are very active, uh, very strong organizations. Uh, many of them uh, came from uh, overseas. Uh, we have alumni from uh, even Bosnia, Herzegovina. We have graduates also from, uh, of course, we have a lot of uh, alumni from India, Bangladesh, from the Maldives, and a uh, few from the Middle East, and also from Indonesia, our ASEAN countries, from Brunei. So all the major region actually you covered and then you graduate is work, working currently in all these countries. So actually yeah. for the parents and students, those are listening this one from this region. So this, even though it's a very young university, but they have a graduate who are working almost around the world. Uh, thank you, Prof, for joining us today in this session and share valuable insight about the program offered by University of Cyberjaya. For any inquiries regarding MBBS program at UOC or study in Malaysia, you can drop me an email at moeen at educationmalaysia.gov.my or send us message at our Facebook or IG pages. Now, before we end this session, we would like to share a special message from our EMGS CEO, Mr. Muhammad Radlan Jalaluddin. With that, I hope to see you again on the next session of EMGS course talk series. Stay tuned until we meet again. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to all students. I'm Muhammad Razlan bin Jalaluddin, Chief Executive Officer of Education Malaysia Global Services EMGS. Thank you for joining EMGS course talk series. Malaysia is definitely the best choice for you to pursue your studies regardless of programs or level of studies. Our quality of education is well recognized globally. The cost of living here is reasonable too. Malaysia is a beautiful country that is strategically located in the heart of Asia. You can experience a dynamic lifestyle with exciting adventures and places to explore. In addition, our cultural diversities make us unique. Moreover, your safety and well-being are our utmost priority as Malaysia is currently ranked 20th in the 2020 Global Peace Index report. These reasons make Malaysia very unique and should be your priority to further your studies. Rest assured that you will experience an education journey unlike any other. We welcome you with open arms and hope to see you soon in Malaysia. Selamat datang ke Malaysia. Thank you. Terima kasih.